In this video, I will show you how to set up SPF DKIM and DMARC for Microsoft 365 in less than four minutes, even if you've never touched DNS settings before. Mailbox providers like Gmail, Outlook, and Yahoo are getting stricter than ever with spam filters. Setting up SPF, DKIM, and DMARC ensures your emails reach the inbox. When you don't set them up properly, your emails might land in spam, never reaching your audience costing you sales, leads, and clients. And all the time you spend writing those emails will go to waste. DKIM, SPF, and DMARC are basically email authentications that prevent spoofing and phishing. DKIM attaches a unique digital signature to your emails, proving they're from you and haven't been tampered with. SPF tells mailbox providers which servers can send emails for your domain. Finally, DMARC decides what mailbox providers should do if emails fail SPF or DKIM checks. If this sounds like technical gibberish to you, don't worry. You can check out this video where I explain all three in detail in the simplest way possible for non-techies. The link is in the description. But you don't need to understand what they are and how they work to set them up. Just follow along with my step-by-step -step instructions and you'll have bulletproof email authentication in less than four minutes. Let's go to my laptop where I'll walk you through it. I made this checklist to make it easy for you to follow along and finish all the steps. You can find a link to the checklist below the video in the description. There's no need to sign up for anything. It's a direct link. You get direct access to this checklist. If you prefer a written guide, this is something you can follow. And it actually goes very well with the video too. To start this process first, make sure you're logged in to your Microsoft 365 account and also your domain registrar. This is the website you purchase your domain from. It could be a site like GoDaddy, Namecheap, Hostinger. But if you use a third-party tool like Cloudflare to manage your DNS, make sure you're logged in there. Next, go to your Microsoft 365 account and click on Admin. So once you're in your settings, Click on show all and then go to settings, domains. If you've added your domain, you can click on domain and follow through with the process of verifying it. But if you haven't done that, you can click on add domain and type in your domain name minus cur careerguide.net and click use this domain before Microsoft gives you your SPF and DKIM records to add to your DNS settings they want to be sure that this domain belongs to you so what they want you to do is verify your domain by adding the TXT record they give you and there are two ways to do this one is to do it automatically if you have godaddy or another domain registrar that integrates directly with microsoft 365 there's an option to automatically add it by clicking a button or two but if you don't have that you have to do it manually go with whichever you prefer i'm going to do it manually so that people who don't have godaddy can see how to do this but i also prefer doing it manually because it makes it easy to fix any problems and also it lets me customize any of the settings if necessary. I'm going to click on more options. And instead of logging in with sign in to GoDaddy and do it doing it automatically, I'm going to click on add. If you don't have GoDaddy, for example, uh, it's going to figure it out a short here. But if you don't have it, or if it picks the wrong one, you can click choose a different domain host and change it with, using the drop down menu. Anyway, so let's click add a text record because I'm doing it manually and then click continue and it's going to give you the text record to add. So what you can do is go to your domain registrar and click add new record for type because it's a text record txt we choose txt and we come back and it says We'll need to add at in for name and for value. We're going to copy this value. So we come back here. For name, as I mentioned, we have to add an at for value. We paste this MS and then 
for TTL, as I said, three three thousand six hundred, or your provider default. My provider default is half hour, so I'm gonna stick with that, and then I'm gonna click save. We've added our TXT record, so we can come here and click verify, so Microsoft three sixty five can check to see if it's gone through or not. I've added my code properly. So now it's giving me my DNS records in my SPF and DKIM keys so I can add them. Again, you have two options here. You can either do it automatically. Since I have GoDaddy, it lets me do it automatically. I can just click on continue and go through. But if you don't have GoDaddy or if you prefer doing it manually like me, then you click on more options and you click on add your own DNS records and you click continue. It's going to give you three records, which are the MX records, CNAME records and TXE records. We need to add all three. This is actually the SPF key that we're adding, but these two are also important. Let's go to our domain registrar, in this case, GoDaddy. Click on add new record. As we need to add three, I'm going to click on add more record a couple more times. So now I can add all three. The first one, as you can see, is an MX report. It's at, and this is our value. So MX record, as I suggested, it needs to be an add, at, and for value, you need to paste it here. Again, some providers, they might not label this as value. They might label it as something else. So if it's that, don't worry about it. Just paste it there. And then for priority, go with whatever Microsoft tells you to do. It, they say zero and they say for TTL one hour. So we're going to put our priority as zero and TTL as one hour. The next thing we need to add is our CMAME. The host name needs to be auto discover. So we come back here and we choose CNAME. And we paste our auto discover, the text they passed me to add on the name. So CNAME, name, and then for value, we add this autodiscover.adrop.com and in TTL is one hour. Are you? TTL is one hour. And then let's we add our TXT record, which is our SPF for this. The TXT name is app and the value is this. So we go here and we choose TXT, main is add, and value is this. And what was the TTL? The TTL is one hour. And then once we've added all three, we just click on save all records. And the SPF, along with the other details, have been added to your DNS settings. So next we go back. And to add DKIM, what we need to do is we click on Advanced Options. And here you'll find this thing called Domain Keys Identify Mail. This is your DKIM. You just click on that. And it, it gives you these two CNAME red folds that you can add. And we just copy and paste them. Uh, what we can do is we go to our uh, we go to our DNS settings and we click add new record and add add more records one more time because we're adding two of them and we return here copy the host name come back choose C name add the host name 
copy the value the detail is one hour again go back post name copy it so again this is this is cname record this will choose c name you copy and paste our main on the here can you we paste the name we copied over here and then we copy the value and then we paste it on the value and TKL is one hour just like it says here it's one hour and then we click save all records and now we've added our beacon keys too. Once we've done that, to verify if we've done it properly, what you need to do is come back here and click on continue. Yep, if it's done, it's going to say domain setup is complete. This shows that we've added our SPF and beacon properly. But if this isn't complete, what will happen is it shows a, a troubleshoot screen where it puts red marks in front of the SPF or your DKIM settings to show where you went wrong and it gives you fixes you can make. So follow through that. Once this is done, what, uh, what you're going to click on is next. And as you can see, it's been added. It's showing that it's, he it's healthy. So we've now added out our SPF and DKIM and we can add our DMARC. But there's one important thing I want to share with you that will help you get even more out of DKIM and keep your account secure, which is to click on security. Then under email and collaboration, I want to click on policies and rules. And then I want you to click on threat policies. And then please click on email authentication settings. And then on DKIM, you can see that for careerguy.net, the DKIM has been set up properly. It's enabled, but what we can do is if you click on this, you'll be able to rotate DKIM keys. And I recommend that every three to six months, you rotate your DKIM keys to keep your account more secure, especially in case there's a hack somewhere, your data and your account will be safe. And yeah, you can always turn off DKIM by clicking this if you want to, but you always keep it enabled. That's best for your account. Okay, so now that's, that's done, let's go add our DMARC and you can use, or I put in the Google Doc, use these steps and copy and paste everything I put here. You can always refer to this checklist if you prefer text-based learning. So you'll go to your DNS records and you'll click on add new records. And then for type, you'll choose TXT. For name, we paste this, you know, this underscore D mark then copy it. And come back here and paste it then go back to the doc then for value you're going to copy this and you're going to paste this here and one thing you're going to do is you're going to change this email address with your email address what this does is it sends daily dmark reports to the email address you add here. So you can add your own email address or someone who works for you or a common email address that multiple people can access. And this will help you monitor your DMARC policy. So I'm going to add my email address, which is mid at careerguy, sorry, guy.net. And then for TTL, I just leave it as default in kit here. It's half hour. So I'm just going to leave it like this and click save. Okay, so now we've added everything, our SPF, DKIM, and DMARC to our Microsoft 365 account. Congrats, you successfully set up SPF, DKIM, and DMARC. Your emails are now authenticated 
and ready to bypass spam filters. However, it may take up to 48 hours for DNS changes to fully propagate. During this time, mailbox providers will gradually recognize your updated records. So don't worry if you don't see immediate results. Now that you're set up, grab my free email vulnerability and open rate accelerator. The link's in the description. It's packed with actionable tips that'll boost your email vulnerability and open rates. You might want to watch these two videos now. One is for setting up Google Postmaster tools while the other is on how to use it, what the different metrics mean, and the action steps you need to take based on the data. It helps you track SPF, DKIM, DMARC, and various other metrics that are essential for email vulnerability.